because the son of man because the son of man is not is not immortal immortal that's right the endless life is that which is that's right father spirit that's right when you say son son equal was truly this man was, was, the, was the son of god the son of god that's right now we got the equation father equal is son equal was but now you got is was and is you're back to is again that's right why are you back to is again because is is alpha that's right hey guys before we continue i found that 93 percent of you who watch these videos are not subscribed click that subscribe button to support truth and click the like button to keep these videos populated within the youtube algorithm thank you for your support and truth let's get right to it Vino Jennings is on record saying 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 50 which says flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God he's saying that that refers to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who died and rose again showed Thomas he had the same body that was pierced by the Romans then ascended into heaven thereafter in Genesis chapter 3 God said Adam will return back to dust only after Adam had sinned. So Adam and all men who have sinned would need a new glorified body to go back into the presence of God. This is what 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 50 means. Amen. You better give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 17 and verse 30. For all things cannot be in men. All things cannot be in men. Because the Son of Man. Because the Son of Man is not. Is not. Immortal. Immortal. That's right. Jesus. In Matthew chapter 9 verse 15, Christ said the bridegroom will be taken from the disciples and they will have to fast. That is why the Son of Man is not immortal. His time on earth was temporary. I mean, I really don't know why Gino emphasizes this. I mean, is he implying that Jesus expired at the cross? Because the scriptures is clear that he rose again. Son yes, is dealing with a nature that God was in. That God, right. was in. That's right. God made a son Amen. and the son was not God. That's right. See, this is one of the timestamps where I noted. Vino has Christ as a created being who was not God. For all of you fanboys who claimed I didn't present evidence that he said that. Well, here you go. And I'll present more evidence later. So that we're clear, God did not create Jesus. Jesus is God and he pierced to the division of soul and spirit. According to Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, we must account for Christ's ascension into heaven with the same body that was pierced and he sits at the right hand of the father okay the reason why heaven is so sacred is the presence of God who is a consuming fire okay so obviously flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom because of sin flesh and blood in the presence of a consuming fire will be destroyed that's why we also have the lake of fire, but I don't have time to get into that. Christ nailed sin to the cross when he said it is finished. So Christ is the greater Adam. Why does he need a new body? No. Christ was able to bypass the time and space continuum in his earthly capacity and still represent the deeds of his flesh in heaven. That's why he said in Matthew chapter 10, 33, whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny for my father who is in heaven. Two instances I just named. Number one, Christ sits at the right hand of the father. Number two, he denies men before his father. Okay, that's two separate persons why because sin caused god to be separate from himself for the redemption of men are you getting me that's right god for all things god overshadowed let me make this plain come here sister kalina 
Sister Janice. <laughs> That's Hawaiian for darling anyway. <laughs> now, let me show you what God done. God, the spirit, he overshadows a woman. Come here, Malcolm. Within the woman, a child is formed. Within the child, spirit, same spirit that overshadowed the mother, was in the child. That's right. That's right, sir. Spirit was in there. Okay. God was in there. God. So you can't say that Mary birthed God because now you're putting age on God. That's right. John chapter 8, verse 57 and 58 says, The Jews said to him, Christ, you are not yet 50 years old. And have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, Before Abraham was, I am. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 says, Just Christ, it's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Revelations, Revelation 13 8. The Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. But Gino says, since Christ was 12 and uh, the age of 33 years old, he's not God because God don't age. See, he's talking out of both sides of his mouth because he also says Jesus Christ is God. So how do you arrive at that conclusion then? So when did Jesus Christ become God? If the spirit is in the man, that doesn't make him God. The spirit in the man doesn't make him God. The fact that he had the Holy Spirit without measure, without measure, that points to him being God. Okay? There are millions of Christians who have the Holy Spirit, the God, the Spirit in them. That doesn't make them God. Okay? He said to the disciples that he will ascend and send his Holy Spirit. Okay? You. Sending something, that means that is, that is you. That is a part of you. Okay? Blood bought born-again believers, again, they have the Holy Spirit. That doesn't make them God. Because according to you, Christ perished at the cross and received a new body. So you're saying the Romans killed God, but the Father was always the Son. <laughs> That's two gods. Because one died. On the cross, according to your logic. That's right, sir. Amen. The Messiah was 12. God wasn't. That's Amen. right. That's right. That's right. The Messiah started his public ministry about the age of what? 30. 30. Not God. That's right. God is eternal and everlasting. So the everlasting life Amen. overshadowed a kernel body. That's right. They created a natural man in the body. That's it. Amen. And then that child was conceived or created by the same power that made the woman. That's right. Then when the woman brought forth the child, God was in that child. That's right. Come back here, child. <laughs> so now you have God in a child. That's right. That's right. Amen. Now Jesus had to grow. That's right. Is that right? Jesus, I said. Not God. God did not grow. Luke chapter 2. Someone said God didn't grow. Job said he's higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea, and longer than the earth. God don't grow. God is everywhere. That's right. Luke chapter 2. But God got in a room. Right. And the room has to expand in size. That's right. See, now you hear them edging him on. That's right. That's right. See, that's that coon spirit, that ignorant spirit. They do that a lot in his crowd. And that encourages him to continue down this damnable path. Okay, this guy's a false prophet. He's leaning on his own understanding. Okay, and what he's saying makes no sense. The position he takes suggests that Jesus Christ is not God. Let's just call it what it is. That the body that he had had to expand in size, saying all this foolishness. It basically, he's saying that body perished at the cross. And that's heresy. God was in Christ Jesus. Christ. Amen. And 
and the flesh took on the name of God. So God had this that flesh had to grow. Listen at this. Luke chapter 2 and verse 52. What is it? And Jesus, Jesus increased increase. in wisdom. In wisdom and stature. God don't increase in wisdom. He's the only wise God. God don't increase in stature. That's right. He fulfilled heaven and earth. And in favor. And in favor. With God. Oh, this flesh had to grow with favor with God. And man. And man. That's right. So now the Messiah took on the name of God and took on the title God. That's right. You can't take on the title and name of God if you are not God. Okay, his teaching lines up more with what the Hebrew Israelites teach. They only believe Christ was the Son of God. They don't believe he was God. Listen. That's right. Now, Father, me, Creator. First John, or rather St. John, chapter 1, begin at verse 1. John Let's break this one. down real quick. St. John chapter 1 and at verse 1. What is it? In the beginning, In the beginning was the Word. Was God. And the Word. Hold it. In the beginning was God. That's right. So I wouldn't say, well, I didn't say that. I said, in the beginning was the Word. Well, it was words that brought the beginning here. That's right. That's right. The Word is Christ, who is God, and was with God. How is this possible? Because Isaiah 46.10 says God declared the end from the beginning. Again, Christ was slain from the foundation of the world. So he sat at the right hand of God before Abraham was. Okay, e Eternity bypasses time. It's not just words. The word is Christ who was pierced to the division, separated from himself, sacrificed as a lamb for our sake. No, there is no son of God in heaven with natural life, with flesh and blood. No, no. Never was, never, was. never had been, and never will. That's right. But that glorified body that is in heaven that rose the third day right, still is identified as the son That's of right. God. That's right. Why? The book said you shall be known as, as we are known. known. That's right. Hmm? <laughs> My God, you see the body that shall be. Mary didn't birth the body that shall be. No, no, hmm? no, 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 no. Mary didn't birth That's right. That's right. the stalk. That's right. Thou fool. Mary birthed the grain. That's right. That's, grain. Ah! That's right. You get this now in the book of Corinthians. Get, get, get chapter and verse. First Corinthians 15 and at verse 35. What, what's on you too? But, but some man will say. What's on you too? Some man will say. Some man will say. That's right. What's over there? But some man will say, Amen. You find me a flesh and blood Jesus in heaven. I make you lick it up. Oh, that's right. I said I'd make anyone lick it up anyone. that believe flesh and blood is in heaven. That's anyone. Right. Anybody. That's right. Even Paul said flesh and blood is not, not in heaven. The kingdom of God. That's right. Jesus Christ did not have tainted blood. He was born of the Holy Spirit from above. John chapter 8. Verse 23 and 24, Jesus said to the Jews, You are from beneath, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. Therefore, I said to you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. Please understand that the resurrection of Jesus Christ is a very big deal. Okay, people like you and me need a new, incorruptible body to inherit the kingdom of God. We are sinners, and our forefathers were sinners. Our bloodlines are tainted with sin. This is not the case with Jesus Christ. He showed Thomas his hands as proof he had the same flesh that he was without sin, yet still crucified by the Romans. Now he may ascend into heaven and sit at the right hand of God because he was without sin. That was the whole point of him showing Thomas where they had pierced him. But Geno teaches that Christ somehow was restricted from ascending into heaven in the body that he was crucified in. And this is a damnable heresy.